I'm going to make for you the classic Manhattan Martin cocktail. And what is the Manhattan? Manhattan is a, an old drink um, based with, originally with rye whiskey, but it's been evolved as many other cocktails and it now predominantly used bourbon. And it calls for sweet vermouth and uh, bitters. We're going to use a double cooler, double chiller, whatever you want to call it, again, to chill it, because we're going to stir it as well, like the martini. This time we're not going to pour any of the vermouth away. We're going to keep everything in it. Now you can use very, uh, many whiskies you want. I mean, it's down to the, uh, the customer, really. I'm going to use the Bay Buffalo Trace bourbon whiskey. Which is a very good whiskey. So about eight again centimeters of the spirit. And that's an American whiskey? Yeah, it's from Kentucky. Bur all bourbon comes from Kentucky. I'm going to use two different kinds of uh, bitters. Uh, I'm going to use the Fee Brothers orange bitters, two dashes, and a dash of Angostura. Manhattan is a complex uh, drink. It's very challenging. And I'm going to use the vermouth. I'm going to use Capano Antica Formula, which is uh, a vermouth I found in New York, actually. And it's a fantastic vermouth. It's the best vermouth I can think for a Manhattan. I'm going to use about four of that, four centimeters. Is that hard to get? It's very difficult to get. You can get it easily if you live in Italy, but uh, there's not much distribution outside of Italy. And basically, we just start. Well, we're going to start it for about a minute or so, just till the flavours. I'm going to taste it in a couple of turns to see the progress. It takes longer sometimes than others. We stir it basically until the drink becomes cold enough for temperature and taste-wise, if it's balanced. Right. I like to drink my Manhattans on the rocks, but uh, you can serve it straight up in a cocktail glass. It's fine enough. That's pretty good. You really can taste the difference between the different vermouths as well. I'm going to just, uh, a little trick here, I'm just going to give it some of the zest from an orange and I'm going to pour, rim the glass with the orange just to give it another flavour. A little julep stirrer, then we're going to fine tip it so I don't get any ice cubes. Now, garnish has always been a maraschino cherry. We, in, we marinate our own real cherries in maraschino liquor, so it's another, again, another flavor. It's a bit going to be sweet. It's going to be a nice surprise for when the drinker drinks his drink. That's the Manhattan.